Hi everyone, I'm Shivanand Reddy. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is platform dependent and platform independent. Why C language is platform dependent language. Before going to this, what is dependent? Dependent is uh, we are depending on someone. Like dependent is uh, on someone or something you need to them in order to survive. If we need to survive, we, we need them. Like for example, we can take as children's. Children are dependent with their parents uh, for financial support, for education purpose, anything. They need financial support purpose. They are dependent with their parents. Similarly, here C language also dependent with operating system and uh, hardware. Like uh, uh, whatever we have written our code in C language and Windows system. That same code, if we give it, uh, finally executable uh, code, we will get it, .exe file. That one, if we give it to some other system, like Indo, or Unix or Mac OS, they cannot execute that one. Like, um, they will execute it, at the time they will get an uh, errors. There are two types of programming languages. One is platform dependent. Another one is platform independent. Platform dependent languages, it means it is completely dependent with operating system. Like if we read in our code in Windows operating system and same code we gave it to Mac OS or Unix system, it cannot be run. Like whatever the output it will come, it is completely dependent with the compiler. Like uh, here we can uh, see um, platform dependent language. It means platform means operating system and no hardware. Now I have the source code, like C language uh, in C language code, I have written in Windows operating system. That code I have compiled and it cannot into object file, that one uh, and finally it cannot into machine code. At the time, .exe file got generated. That .exe file, it's generated on Windows system. Now I have two friends, one having the Windows OS, another one having the Unix OS. I gave that same .exe file to both of them. Windows OS friend, he can able to run, he can able to check everything. Linux OS, he cannot able to run. Here it is like, whatever I have written or that code, it is completely dependent with Windows OS. It cannot be run in another uh, platforms. And for this one only, like uh, for us, uh, for installing any softwares, normally or uh, any softwares, like extension files, it will be there. Like. Uh, dot exe it will be like it will run on windows system for mac os it will be like dot dmg files it will run for android dot apk files it will um, run based on that files only we can uh, install it and we can run our applications now we can see about platform independent code platform independent means like it's just completely independent like if we write our code in you know, windows same code we can run it in a uh, Mac OS or Unix OS. Like uh, here, it won't be dependent on the operating system. Here, uh, now I have written on our code. That code is available in Windows system. That one I have compiled it. And that compile, once the compile, that one byte, byte code it will be generate. That byte code I give it to friends. They will run that byte code in they will system, their system. Like uh, uh, here, uh, I will take an example of Java. For Java, JVM, it will be there in every system. Java virtual machine. It is developed for different to the operating system. Like for uh, Windows operating system, JVM, it will be available. And Mac OS separate JVM, it will be available. Like whatever we gave our code as byte code, that code, it will convert to machine code by using the JVM. Here, uh, here we can see. Like uh, I have bytecode, like um, I have written our source code, that one I have compiled it, bytecode has been generated, that bytecode I give it to my friend. He executed in his Windows mission. In his Windows mission, JVS, um, uh, it will be installed. JVM is uh, it's uh, work with Windows operating system. Also Unix operating system also, JVM it will be available. That JVM is developed for Unix OS. Like here, whatever our code, bytecode, it is uh, uh, not in directly interacting with the Windows. In in middle JVM, it will be available. That JVM, it will convert into machine code language. Here, it's uh, not completely dependent with the platform. Like it's not dependent with the Windows operating system. It is separated with both.
Similarly, .NET also it will be the same. Like we are having Java, JL, uh, JVM, it will be there. Here we are having CLR, it will be there. Here it, CLR is a platform specific. Like it will be like uh, um, Windows uh, one uh, for Windows system, one CLR it will be there. Unix one CLR it will be available. Here MSL code it will be there. means whatever we have written our code is compiled to the platform natural language called as MSIL. MSIL means Microsoft Intermediate Language. This intermediate language, which it will be processed to CLR, that CLR it will convert into the entire code to machine readable format, like uh, zeros and ones format, it will uh, convert and it will give it to the operating system. Uh, similarly, the same process it will be happening in uh, Unix OS also. And uh, coming, to, we'll see some examples. C language is platform dependent language. Like uh, once we change the operating system, it cannot be executed. C++ is partially dependent language and partially independent language. Like it means like um, when we use any uh, functions, inbuilt functions that are related to the windows, that will work only for windows. If we didn't use any functions related to the windows, then it won't be work for uh, that system. And also Java is platform independent and .NET is platform independent. She has PHP, and all everything is will be like platform independent. Python also platform independent languages. Thanks for watching the video.